welcome to this video on the Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy 2023 release figure review. The figures being reviewed here will be about Drax, Rocket, Mantis, Nebula, and Star Lord. As there are already detailed reviews out there on these figures, I will be giving my opinion about them with my final thoughts about it. So let's get started. First of all, for the sculpture and details, absolutely 5 out of 5 stars. As you can see from each figure head to toe, the sculpt is very well done with lots of details and texture. Definitely applied very well. It really resembles the actual characters from the movie, which I'm very pleased with my expectations fulfilled. So, there you go, look at that. Okay, let's take a look at Mantis quickly. Very nice. There's Nebula. And Rex. And finally, Rocket. So moving on to the quality, absolutely 5 out of 5 stars. For each figure, it's made with good quality hard plastic and does not feel cheap at all. Looks and feels very quite durable as well. Yeah, very, very nice. Please with it. Wait for the articulations of the figures, absolutely 5 out of 5 stars as expected. From the Marvel Deluxe Articulated Figures, joints are everywhere on these figures. Neck, arms, elbows, wrists, waist, legs, neck feet and so on. Action figure at its best. Right, no doubt. Articulations are everywhere. Love it so far. Well, for the fun factor and accessories, now this is the part that bothers me the most. After thorough consideration, I have to give it only two out of five stars. I'm just so disappointed that each figure came with one to none accessories. No interchangeable head or hands. No figure stand to utilize the awesome articulations these figures offers to make the coolest poses and they come with the build a figure pieces that are building up in my closet which I usually do not have the intentions to complete. Why no figure stand to this date? I just don't understand. It's like the figure stand uses the same amount of plastic to make an action figure or something. I just don't get it. For the price and value, to me it's an average 3 out of 5 stars. I mean, same retail price as half a hundred dollars for any high-ended deluxe articulated figure, and but offers so little. I feel like I'm paying more for less and got the feeling this arrangement is going to be an ongoing thing for these Marvel figures. It no longer feels like I'm buying a kid toy. As a direction it's heading, it's for mature collectors who have the money to spend. My final thoughts on the Guardians of Galaxy figures, at most, 3 out of 5 stars. It would have been 2 out of 5 stars if I already owned all 5 figures from the previous waves, as the health sculpt is pretty much the same as the previously released Marvel Legends figures. The only difference are these Guardian outfits. I would recommend to get these figures if you do not have the Guardian figures from the previous waves like myself. I only had the Star Lord figure from the Love and Thunder Wave, so I suppose it was okay for me to dish out $250 for four and a half figures to satisfy my Marvel figure collecting addiction. If you happen to purchase one of these figures in their blue outfits, you may feel pressured to buy the other ones so the one you purchased won't be the odd one out, otherwise I would skip this wave completely and save the money for other Marvel figures you do not have. One more thing that bothers me really bothers me about this is that the Cosmo figure should not be a build a figure and be a complete figure sold with Rocket or at least have a version of Groot included with the Raccoon figure which had not been released before or even have a Kevin Bacon as the uh, build a figure from the Guardians uh, special uh, edition video. I mean I really greatly appreciate it if there was more included with the uh, Raccoon figure so it does not feel like a ripoff. The other two characters from, the, from this wave are the least popular to me 
and I would only get them if they happen to be on sale or clearance to complete the uh, Cosmo Build-A-Figure. Well, that's it for these figures. I hope my opinion and thoughts uh, help you out to make a decision of whether to add these figures to your collection. Definitely a yes for any Marvel fan, but anything other than that, it's a big no. Thanks for watching.